this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's lovely world. Good morning, Polly Reindeer. Good morning, William Beaver. Good morning, Mattress Man. <laughs> Who's the dog down there? And good morning, Fizzy Elephant. Right, it's an exciting day today. Uh, you've seen the title of the episode. You know what it is we're doing. We've done this. God, how many times have we done this now, my lovely world? Probably, what, like eight times now, maybe? We've done this uh, Christmas tradition. Uh, for those that are new here, I will explain exactly what the uh, the tradition uh, is in just a moment. Uh, but first, I'll do another uh, very long-running tradition, and that's having my morning cake. Nom, 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 nom. Very tasty. Butterby, you can stand up and you can join me. And uh, yeah, before we go and build my snowman, Frosty Long Nose, uh, yeah, we're going to go down to the uh, the love garden and let you know uh, who it is that we're adding to it today. And then, yeah, we're going to get the uh, the snowman done and hopefully uh, get the Christmas tree uh, put in today as well, if I'm quick enough. Uh, but first to the love garden, I want to add a uh, Dossite J. And uh, that is because of this really cool 3D render that they put together of my lovely world. And it's kind of cool seeing it as almost like a little like miniature thing that you could have on your table like how cool would that like it be to have that as a sculpture uh sorry though that i got rid of the um <laughs> the never trap the uh the mob spawner because um yeah it's now out of date but you wouldn't have known that in the time that you sent me this uh but yeah i love it so much so th uh, thank you for sending it and welcome to my love garden all uh, right then let's go drop barnaby off over at the the dog house I will choose which dog is going to join me, and then we'll build the snowman. So if uh, you didn't know, basically I build basically the same snowman every year, Frosty Longnose. The change is, is that every year his nose gets slightly longer. I add one more uh, block along. Uh, just to, to kind of keep it uh, growing. Uh, and so this year it's going to be 12 blocks long. And uh, Flippy, uh, you can set up and uh, you can join me uh, for today. So yeah, the rest of the design... Like, I've kind of gradually updated it and changed it over the years, basically as they have been uh, adding kind of new items and stuff. Like, when they added coal, I made the eyes coal and stuff. There's not really been many new additions to the game that would really make any sort of difference. So, uh, yeah, I think this year, apart from the uh, the longer nose... And, oh, what happened to your What happened to your arm, Polly? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way, uh, that still sometimes happens. Don't don't be alarmed. Sometimes the uh, the skins uh, still mess up when ray tracing on. That's just a, a thing. So uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty much the, the same as, uh, as it was last year. And uh, while I'm building this, uh, as you can see, all of my helpers are going to be building their snowmen. And uh, as per always, I have no idea what they're going to be building. They have complete uh, free reign to build uh, whatever they want. Polly might not be able to get uh, her snowman finished today because she is building it with just one arm. So that might make things uh, a little bit bit more difficult but she'll try her best anyway right let's let's try and get the body up so uh this needs to be three blocks up so we've got one two three like this and then we have our little scarf going around it and then the uh the top hat like do you remember like i used to have like a thing and all flippy you probably want to um get out of there for now otherwise you're going to be trapped inside the the snowman for the whole rest of the episode i used to have a thing with putting top hats on everything because like i think the first time i did it was probably with the the creeper coaster and then I did my, um, oh, with the Ugly Duck Fling minigame. I did that. And then I'd always, like, when I went into other people's worlds, I would, like, build things with, like, big top hats on them. And, like, when I, when I first built uh, Frosty Longnose, I was deep in my building top hats on thing mode, which um, I've, I've got past. I, I now <laughs> no longer put top hats on things. Maybe maybe I should. Maybe I should uh, I should kind of continue that going. So because I was in that phase, uh, it means Frosty Longnose uh, does have a, a top hat. Uh, and then we got the, as I said, the, the coal for the eyes. And then the the really uh, long nose. I built it like so many times. Like I I, I brought up like a, a picture uh, of him just so I could kind of like remember from like past years that I've done it. I could probably. This is one of the few things in Minecraft that I could build like block perfectly without looking at a reference for. Just because, as I said, I have uh, I have built him so many times. Even though there's been like years gaps between the times that I've built him, uh, I'm pretty sure I could get him uh, pretty much uh, spot on. Uh, so yeah, there's the the face. There's his eyes. Obviously, uh, we'll do the um 
uh, we do the the nose later. That's kind of nice to to do as the the last thing. Uh, and then the the top hat uh, is just made out of uh, of black wool. Uh, I go all the way around the the outside like this, uh, and then I'll kind of build up uh, in the the middle to make it poking up. And uh, oh yeah, the other thing. Uh, so in one hand uh, he's normally holding a a torch, and then in the other hand he holds a uh, a candy cane. I may have actually forgotten about that after all of my <laughs> time saying that I'd remember everything. That might have actually been one thing that I wouldn't have remembered. And then I'm pretty sure uh, for this hat in the the past i went two blocks high i mean it doesn't really matter if i used to go three blocks high or something like it's it's gonna be a snowman you're going to, to get the idea maybe one year he can have a smaller or taller hat so does that look right it it looks wrong but it's just because I haven't done the nose yet. So I just wanted to check the dimensions. And I think not having the, the arms as well. So it does look different. But I will be able to, to remedy that when I just make the uh, the other additions. So I put the uh, the coal in the, the item frames uh, like this. And then do I have fences? Oh, I got um I got some oak wood on me. So let me go and make myself a, a crafting table. Uh, and then I can make some fences, uh, which is what we use as arms. It's all meant to be like... Um, as if it's something that you could actually build as a snowman. So that's why I'm kind of using the coal, and then obviously the 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 nose is meant to be a big carrot, and then the fences are meant to be just kind of like sticks, I guess, that someone's found. Uh, so let's make... I uh, probably need a few more of these. So let's go make... Uh, 12 should... Uh, be enough for what I need. So uh, these are just going to come out in the, the middle here like this. And then this is the one that's going to have the, the torch on, I believe. So let's just do it going out to there. And I do have a torch, so I can go and place that on there like that. And then this is the side uh, where it's going to be handing uh, holding the, the, the candy cane. So I might need to go up by... Do I go up by one further? Yeah, let's go up by one further. Uh, and then I might make the other one one further as well, just so it matches. Uh, and then this uh, is just going to be made out of, uh, of white wool um, as well as, uh, as red wool uh, for the, the candy cane so it's going to go like red uh white and then if i go white there and then i kind of need it to loop over i might just pile up with some dirt so i can get up to the the top uh, to see uh what uh what i'm doing so this needs to go up like that there and then down like that there this has turned into like a like a proper rapid speed build because <laughs> i remember last year i spent ages building him and i didn't have um i didn't have why I, I was gonna say i didn't have time to do the christmas tree i kind of forgot i kind of forgot about the christmas tree that was one other part of the the tradition that i didn't do but i'm uh, i'm making amazing progress here if only i could build everything that fast it's just practice makes perfect right like normally when i'm building something in minecraft like i've not built it exactly the same before but it just makes uh, such a big difference uh, when you know exactly what you're doing uh, but yeah the other thing uh, that uh, I kind of done uh, as a bit of a later addition was an inside so now uh, Duncan and Mittens on Christmas Day they like to to spend their days together uh, inside of here we pop in we say hello we'll give them their presents don't you worry about that but uh, it's their one chance to, to be away from everyone away from the doghouse away from just always being in the background of us playing mini games and to, to spend Christmas Day together and so for some reason they decided to do that in front of Long Nose can anyone remember how that started well, maybe I just had Duncan with me when I was building it or something. If anyone uh, uh, can remember why I started that as a tradition, let me know in the uh, the comments because I have zero memory of how that started being a thing. I just know it has been a thing for quite a few years and I'm someone who loves tradition, so <laughs> I like to, to keep it going. So we've got a little fish down there for mittens and uh, a bone there uh, for Duncan. Uh, and then I should just put a, uh, a doorway. Uh, yeah, I got some spruce wood as well uh, just because I like the... Um, the, the spruce doors uh, for um, for this. I don't know, I'm just crafting loads of random stuff that I don't need. How am I still not good at crafting in Bedrock yet? How am I still like this kind of slow and rubbish? I get there. I, I, I get to what I need to do but uh, yeah, I don't... Uh I don't do it very quickly, do I? Anyway, so there we go. There's a frosty long nose, uh, complete, apart from, obviously, the most important thing, the long nose. <laughs> so let's go and add it. So as I said, uh, last year, he was 11 blocks long, his nose was at least. And so this year, uh, we're going 12 blocks long. And it's going to be ridiculous. I remember last year was like the point where I was like, okay, this is absolutely ridiculous. Because he started off having a long nose. The first time I built him and called him frosty long nose... I called him that because he had a long nose and then every year it gets longer and longer. It's going to get to a point where we're going to have the nose down here. I'm not even going to be able to see the rest of him because he won't be loaded in. Like the draw, the draw distance won't be high enough. That is so ridiculous. I literally think I could just jump and land like properly on my balcony. Yeah, I can. Because last year I could land on the edge there. Like eventually, like, I'm just going to like... 
I'm just gonna have to go into the house, aren't I? Like, I'm literally gonna have to, like, break away part of my house just so we can keep extending the, uh, <laughs> the nose of my snowman. I love that I got this as a little tradition because I'm, I'm so obsessed with, like, traditions for, like, Christmas in real life anyway. And I just love the fact that I've been able to to carry that over into to Minecraft. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my head down. I'm gonna look at the floor and try not bang into too many things. And that is because I've been trying uh, to not look. And oh, William's so smart using scaffolding, and I'm here piling up with uh, with uh, <laughs> with dirt all the time. Yeah, I'm trying not to look at their snowmen because I want to have a a big reveal at the uh, the end of the episode. I go down to my balcony and I'll see what um, amazing sights are going to be left out in my lovely world for a while because I want them to look nice because. Is, like no matter what I'm gonna have to be looking at them like every morning for a while until they uh, they melt away so hopefully they're um yeah a collection of lovely snowmen but uh yeah we we'll see there's um often some crazy designs that can come out from uh, from my helpers anyway onto the uh onto the 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 Christmas tree oh well, I haven't got any um I haven't got any glowstone uh oh there's glowstone here I could steal some of this glowstone put it into dust and then put it back together to put it as the star and then I will replenish this. Is is this going to give me enough dust in order to uh, to replenish it? Uh, I just put torches down here. That's uh, just as good enough. And I knew I made a spare crafting table for some reason earlier. Right, can I make a block of glowstone? Oh, I can make two blocks of glowstone. We haven't, we haven't even lost any glowstone, so that's good. So we can have our star on the uh, the top of the tree. So that's going to go there. We don't have the, uh, the tallest ceilings. It's quite tall ceilings, so uh, we do have to kind of wedge the tree <laughs> right into the, uh, the, the very top. So I tried a few different designs for the uh, the tree over the, over the years. I used to put mushrooms <laughs> on the tree because nothing says Christmas like mushrooms hanging on your Christmas tree. <laughs> you know, fungi is what everyone thinks of when they think of Christmas. No, the reason I had mushrooms is because I wanted to like give the effect of there being baubles and that's not something that you can do very easily. But then they'd always kind of like end up popping off and they would end up having to be too dark in here because I've Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to, to place them. So, uh, my current design uh, that I go for is I just use carpet. I just use, like, the kind of Christmassy color carpet. And actually, while I'm going up here, I should probably make the uh, the carpet ready. So, uh, yeah, I've got some red and some green. Uh, nine of each should be more than enough for us to, to complete this. So, uh, yeah, I kind of do just sort of standard Christmas tree shape. Um, yeah, I don't have a, uh, a set design for this because I'm trying to kind of make it look um, a little bit more natural and as, uh, as close to a, a real Christmas tree. Is that symmetrical around the outside? I think it is. Uh, and then if we just go around, oh, whoopsies, uh, go around the outside there uh, and kind of fill it all the way up to the, the top because I want it to be a very big building Christmas tree. I tell you what, I wish I had a Christmas tree this big in real life. <laughs> I have such like low ceilings in real life. I know actually this should probably, um, I realize I'm breaking it away with a bit of wood. Uh, yeah, that should probably be like a tree like that, if it's on the, the top of the tree. That looks quite good. That doesn't, uh, that doesn't look too bad, does it? So let's go and uh, put the, um, the, the carpets around the outside. And I guess it's kind of meant to be like, I don't know what it's meant to be, Christmas decorational slabs. That's what it is. Put up the, forget the Christmas baubles and the lights and the tinsels. These are the Christmas slabs that we'll, <laughs> we'll go and decorate the, uh, the tree with. I guess it could kind of almost be like tinsel. I'll put some around the top there, even though you can't really, uh, see it that well, but, uh, I might as well go and use all of the, uh, the Christmas slabs that I have just to go and spread <laughs> some of these are all over the place. There we go. It just adds a little bit of color and a little bit of, uh, of decoration to the, the tree. And then, uh, I guess I should also, uh, make some of the, the stockings, aka the chests, uh, that I put around the outside of the tree. And then hopefully if we're lucky and we've all been good cats and dogs and, Elephants and reindeers and, and villagers and iron golems and snow golems and dogs and cats. Uh, then yeah, then we should hopefully get some presents uh, from Santa uh, come Christmas Day. Uh, so um, I've kind of lost track of um, of how many people uh, Santa gives presents to because he drops some off here uh, that I then go and deliver to people. But then he then uh, delivers some off to uh, to people around the house. But my stocking is always, once again, uh, me with my traditions down by the fire in my library. So uh, it might still be there, to be honest. I don't think I've been in my library since last Christmas. Oh, no, I have because didn't I take some blocks from there? So there we go. Let's close up the uh, the fireplace. Uh, let's put down uh, this chest here as my stocking. Not too close to the fire for obvious reasons. And then, yeah, I normally got some flint and steel here. So I can go and uh, relight the, the fire. 
Uh, leave that there glowing. That should be all nice and ready and flippy. Let's uh, get out of here because I did just light a fire. And so there we go. There's my uh, frosty long nose done. There is my Christmas tree done. So let me um, make my way back into the, the house. Oh, no, no. Oh, I got a glimpse. I got. I cheated. I got a glimpse. Uh, let's go. Let's go the long way around then to give them a last little bit of time. This is your This is your final warning, by the way, everyone, that uh, <laughs> I'm going to be there soon. And I'll make my way back into the, uh, into the, the house and you... Uh, hit the target, who is still happily stuck in my trap. I'm not going to be invited to any of the, uh, the Christmas festivities. Is it bad that I feel bad that Hit the Target's going to spend Christmas, like, stuck in that trap? Like, I know I shouldn't feel bad, or maybe I should feel bad, but he's done, like, so many evil things. Like, he's killed my dogs and tried to take over my world. Like, I know this is kind of what he deserves, but I still can't help but feel bad. Maybe we'll, um, maybe we'll build a prison soon and, uh, upgrade it. Anyway, guys, uh, let's go and, uh, check out all of the, uh, What's going on here? What is going on here? Let's check out all of this snowman. So we got Frosty Longnose, who we know. And then we got Polly, who did like some sort of reindeer snowman, it looks like. Uh, Fizzy is a... Uh, I'm going to have to read your sign, Fizzy, to know what is going on there. That's like a mosh pit snowman. Oh, sorry. They're just having like a rave. <laughs> all the snow popping up and down. And oh my god. That is so adorable. Look at William Beavers. That is the cutest little face. Ah, oh, amazing. Right, let's go. Let's go read the uh, the signs and see what the uh, the name of all of the uh, the new snowmen friends are. This is uh, Dolly Snow Deer. Oh, that is amazing. I love those antlers. That is so cool. Right, what's going on with uh, <laughs> with Fizzy's? How do I even get? How do I even get to it, Fizzy? I can't reach it. <laughs> let me uh, let me go pile up so I can go and uh, have a. Oh, there we go. Little uh, little snow staircase. So I'm going to have a, a look at what's going on. We are not your props. We are the party. I was right. <laughs> it's just a. <laughs> it's just a snowman party. Oh wait, is there like um? There's all like pistons going off. Busy done a bunch of redstone to make them like darts up and down. That is incredible. And they will endlessly party until Christmas, uh, I guess. <laughs> and then let's go and see this little uh, this little cutie up here and see what uh what William has uh, has named his snowman. This is uh, see snow evil, hear no evil. And then is this like a secret entrance? How have you done? Th what is this magical world I've walked into? <gasps> this is so good. Time waits for snowman. Oh, I love it. I love the puns. Uh, don't get Santa cross. He shows where. Oh, he. Oh, is it knows where you live, but it shows where you live. Uh, and then I came. I fall rather than I saw. I conquered. Amazing. And I love what. I love this as well. I love the way we can just walk through this snow. I'm gonna have to have a little, uh, little chitty chat with William after this to see how he's done this because, uh, yeah, I wanna, <laughs> I wanna make secret snow entrances. <laughs> Once again, my first thought is, hmm, how could that be a mini game? Secret snow entrances. That's the thing. Hopefully, they don't patch it. Whatever it is. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of this episode here. The next episode of My Lovely World will be on December the twenty fifth, aka christmas day so hopefully uh you'll come back and join in the celebration then but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later bye